I want you to promise me that you will leave those girls alone. Do you promise? Do you promise? He's got to think about it for a minute. Moses, though, if you mess with them, I hope that you know what's going to happen to you as soon as Tex gets here. Mm -hmm. Yes, his name is Tex, and those are his wives and his daughters and his granddaughter, and they want nothing to do with you. You hear me? You might want to think long and hard about that. Oh, no. We got problems. Y'all need to stop me and a bunch of floozies. You pussies and get back in there. Say, Starla. Starla, <laughs> I don't think her is hungry, Carter. Mm, she just ate. That's okay. You can feed her later if she you want to. She just took milk off of her nose onto your Uncle Lester. Oh, no. I don't want to be all nasty. I'm going to be all nasty now. Do you want to drink that bottle? No. No. Oh. I am about to head over to the other property. Uh, I'm a survivor. And guess who jumped in the truck when I was getting ready to leave? Trixie, of course, and Starla. I, I'm afraid I have created a monster. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna make a bottle to take with us. I thought for sure I had already passed that phase of my life. Move over. Move over. You got something stuck to your head. What is... What in the world? Baby, I will feed you. Okay, whatever. Ugh. Oh, Sweetie, I was going to bring this along with us for when we get there. Goat, come on. It's a little goat. Trixie, just give me a second, Trixie. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Trixie's like, if she can do it, then I can do that too. And that's not the case. You're not doing it, Trixie. All right. Guys, we are off. We're off. Why? Why do we do this to ourselves, huh? Why? <laughs> Anybody want a little goat? Does anyone want a little sweet little goat? She's a sweet little girl. She's a sweet goat, y'all. And she likes to take car rides and drink lots of bottles. You could you could play Barbie yourself. You could be at home playing Barbie with this cute little Barbie doll. Look. There. Not my Dr. Pepper. I always thought that you buy these rubber floor mats so you can spray them off if you need to, right? Well, if it were rubber, then this would not have happened. I took the floor mats out of the truck. I was spraying them off when I was washing it, and I forgot to put them back in. I backed up over the top of the floor mats, and it cracked them. They cracked. And so I'm thinking, wait a minute. Rubber would not crack. Rubber is like a water hose. It wouldn't crack. So how could my floor mats crack? They cracked, so they're not rubber. It's some kind of a plasticky something. So I just say, you know what? It's not plastic, not the plus that we know. It's not rubber or it wouldn't crack. So you know what? It's just something cheap, just something cheap. Sweetie, go in the back. What in the world? Who are those guys? Seriously, who are those guys? That looks like a younger version of Adam and Adam or Stephen Pablo, but it's not. So Starla is very curious about all this. She's like, where am I, baby? You wanna get out? Starla is super curious about all of this. She doesn't know where the heck she's at. You want to get out? <laughs> you want to get out and look around? Let me let her out. Trix Trixie. All right, so it's cute that Tilly's come out to get her a nice 
fresh drink of water. I'll tell you what I'm noticing though. I was, I spotted something. I didn't know what it was. Something that Ellie and Megan have come up with. So I'm real happy to see they put a roll of hay out in the pasture. Uh, guys, you can see for yourselves, there is no grass here. The grass in these front pastures is down to nothing. What in the world is that? Uh, what, um, okay, so I will say this. It's really great to see that they're feeding the goats off the ground. That's sweet. That's thoughtful. I love the fact that they're being ingenuitive and coming up with new and creative ideas for feeding. But... Do they not know that Tractor Supply sells those? Hanging buckets that you just literally just hang right on the wire and they hang perfect. And on those hanging buckets, you can take them off and rinse them out every couple of days. These here, there's no hole for water to drain through and they screwed them on too so it would require a, a a screwdriver to get them off but hey i you know what i just like the initiative i'm gonna just say hey that's some good initiative great initiative y'all great initiative all right let's try to get trixie out of the truck and get a couple of jobs done yeah, Trixie's being hard-headed today. She's upset because I did not go swing by Sonic for her. But she needs to remember that Sonic is on the way home. I just love the way that looks. And my flag is still... How come the flag is not all the way to the top? I don't understand what's up with this... There. I mean, it may not be a big deal to you all, but the flag should be all the way to the top. I do believe... I don't know how it keeps falling down three quarters. Isn't that beautiful? I just love that. All right, Trixie, get out of the truck, sweetie. Trixie, why are you just sitting in the truck? Baby, what's wrong with you? She did, You know what? I think she's jealous that I brought. I do. I think that she's jealous that I allowed uh, Starla to come along. Uh, porch looks great. Look at here. Ooh wee, we got packages. Well, this is my third time sending a pool for the alpacas, all caps. Hopefully they get this one. This will be my last try. I hope they love it. Enjoy your gift. <laughs> and, okay, I don't know how I should take <laughs> Anne is a sweet lady, y'all. But she is insistent that this package go to the alpacas. And let me ask you a question. I'm, I don't mean this in a mean way, but sweet, sweet Ann, have you ever been to a birthday party and only want one kid to get the balloon? Or have you ever taken, you know, or been to an event where there's a playground? Here we go. How about I take my students to recess? I take my students to recess and I only have one popsicle. There's only one popsicle. No one else gets one. And how do you expect us to open up a gift for the alpacas yet keep the pigs away? <laughs> Obviously, you've never had pigs. We're going to step in here first and see if we can find our little kitties. See what our kitties are doing. Come on. Come on, sweetie. It's nice and cool in here. Oh, Lord. This place is a wreck. Come on, baby. Kitty, 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 kitties. Guys, this place is a wreck. How is this place a wreck? There's only two kittens in here. Kitty, 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 kitties. Oh, my gosh. They pulled all my curtains down. They've pulled the curtains down. Kitties? Kitty, 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 kitties! 
Hey, sweet sissy. Hi, sweet girl. No baby from her yet either. Guys, if they're not even pregnant, they're just fat. They might just be fat. That little guy there, his name is Hero. And you're gonna visit him for a little bit while I do some work, okay? You're gonna hang out with Hero while I work. All right, so this is Starla's first time to visit with Hero. Hero, are you gonna be sweet to Starla? You gonna be sweet to Starla? She's a sweet girl. And I gotta do a couple of jobs and I need some time to work. Starla, you can stay in here. It's nice and cool in here. There's water. There's a little bit of grain to nibble on. And you can learn to be a goat. <sighs> Wait, Hero's not a goat either, though. Hero thinks he's a little boy. Hero, can you be sweet to her, please, till I get back? All right, so today we're going to go back and let our cows have some time in the back, back pasture. I'm going to be around for a little while, so I'll be able to watch and make sure uh, there's no trouble get started between fence lines. You know what I mean by that as far as Moses and all those guys go? Starla's not happy having to be left here, but should I just take her with me? Starla, I got work to do, sweetie. She's going to scream the whole time. Let me go ahead and get her. Baby, I'm coming. Sweetie, I'm coming. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sorry, hero. Hey, boys. Come on, Starla. Come on, girls. We're going to explore some new pastures today. I want you all to follow me. Charlene, are you being babysat by Jezebel? That is the sweetest thing. Thank you, Jezebel. Come on, girls. Ah! Come on. Come on, Jolene. Come on, Pearl. Come on, Santana. The race is already over here. Come on, girls. to do an experiment and let the girls all out this back pasture and see what they do and then I'm gonna go by and do an assessment of the fence line let me just wait till I can talk Woo! come on Gracie sweetie stay right there stay there till I get back stay on there never mind just come on down Okay. Ah! Come on. Suck, 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 suck. All right, we're going to park ourselves here in the shade. I did bring my drink with me. Come on. Suck, 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 suck. Come on. Come on, Star. Hurry up. You need to get on that four-wheeler before you get yourself in trouble. Get back there. That's not your babies, y'all. That's not your babies. This is my baby. <laughs> this is my baby. This is Starla, okay? I'm sorry. All right, this is what we want to watch over here and see what they do. Starla, you might want to stay right where you're at, okay? Her name is Starla Gracie. That's my baby, not your baby. <laughs> Sorry, Gracie. Gracie misses her baby. She's like, my baby was white, too. She reminds me so much of you. Your baby is doing really good, Gracie. One day she'll come back and see you, and she'll live with you one of these days. She will. Y'all do know that one day Danny and Ruby will both live here with all of these sweet girls. They will, but not till they get old enough to be weaned. This is so very important for me, y'all. Look, they're hungry. They are so hungry. Go eat, Gracie. This is not your baby here. Just go eat. So, I thought they might would come to this pasture first, but instead, they're going to go ahead and explore all of this grass here, which is fine. 
Here comes Jezebel and Marilyn, along with Charlene. Jezebel has been assigned babysitter, y'all. Jezebel is the babysitter for the day. How funny is that? Boy, Santana got some kind of control, doesn't she? All right, this is good. This is real good. Now, this is their first time on this pasture in years, plural. They've been kept off this pasture in, in a while. And so, number one, they're exploring new territory. But number two, they're hungry. They are. And so, I love the fact that they're filling their bellies. This is so good. Now, there's no water here. This pond is completely dry. And so, I have to allow them access back up to the front. And I'll do that. But I am just so happy to see them walking about eating, just filling, filling their bellies, taking huge mouthfuls. Now, in case anyone is new to the channel and you're not real sure where we're at, this is some property that I bought from my Aunt Joanne and Uncle Raleigh. And we bought 11 acres from them. So there's our cows right over there, right across this fence. And they're not bothering anybody. But looky here. We got Moses walks up and says, hello, ladies. Here's the fence I built for Jake, and this is good fencing here. So what really needs to happen, what really needs to happen is that I need to come back and build this kind of fence going all the way down to the back because I want to show you all this over here. Any cow, or especially bull, would just step right over that. That would, that would do nothing to prevent, hey, you better come on out of there, sweetie. They may not be as nice as I am. Um, so, yeah, this is going to require some fencing, some serious fencing. And um, 
I mean, there's been makeshift panels stuck up here and there. There's all kinds of stuff that's been knocked over and pushed around. So I don't think it's safe to leave our cows over here today. I was hoping to be able to do that. Just give them a chance to explore. And so, you know what? They've had their chance to explore, but in, in, to be safe, I need to go and get my cows back up. I'll give them an hour or so to fill their bellies. And then at that point, we're going to walk them back up where they belong. Hi, you big galoot. Hi, you big galoot. Why don't you get your big galoot self back over here? You old galoot. You're just a big galoot. You are a big galoot. Hello there, gals. It's been a while, hasn't it? Moo, you've not changed one. Who's that big old galoot? That big galoot would be your Uncle Moo, all right? So, I'm surprised your mom has not talked more about him. I wish y'all would not always call me a big galoot because I do have feelings. You know that, don't you? Daddy Wetter, I do have my feelings, and now they are hurt. Charlene, you might just want to keep hanging out with your babysitter and not worry about that big galoot. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Pearl's like, you've not changed one bit, Uncle Moo. You're still the same Uncle Moo you've always been. And Santana's like, oh, he got some new friends now, though, does he? Well, we'll see what I can do about that. Santana, you ain't gonna do nothing about nothing. You got your own family to take care of, so you need to leave him alone. You hear me? I'm serious, you leave him alone. Pearl, Donut, oh Lord. Marilyn, where are you going? Why do y'all all wanna start just trouble? Just, I don't get it. Just go eat, okay? Just go eat and stop looking for trouble. Please. Jolene, you need to just keep your mouth through the ground and just keep doing what you're doing. Setting a good example. That's why I love you so much. Get your butt back in there. Joe, you are so jealous, Jolene. Sweetie, come on. <laughs> Jolene, you're my special girl, baby. You're my special girl, nobody else. Just you. So I've been camped out here for a while. And I'm happy to see that all the cows, heifers, calves are making their way back up. They had a nice time scouting around, kind of checking the place out. They've had their heads to the ground almost the entire time. So it's good to see that they're kind of filling their bellies. And then once they get over here close to me, I'm going to go ahead and call them back in and close this gate behind me. I want to thank you all for joining us on our adventures to the back 38.6, not 40. And um, I have my work cut out for me. I'll just say that. I got a nice stretch of wire I need to run. That looks like probably, I'm just going to guess and say 100 yards. The ground is going to be hard. Oh, jeez, the ground's going to be so freaking hard. Yeah. But, hey, it has to be done because I cannot rest easy knowing the cows are over here. And uh, with other cows right across is a broken down and just, hor just a horrible fence. But um, thank you all for watching, and we will catch you guys on tomorrow's video. Survivor. I'm a survivor, survivor Who will be the ultimate survivor? Let's find out when you spend the day in our shoes All you creators, our sanctuary is ready Who will win the title? Well, it could be you Survivor, survivor